Hey Rhinos, Dr. Jeff J bringing you another episode of Rhino University number 13. Let's talk about one of the most important things you will ever do if you're running a business, tracking. Track your stats, track your averages. You need to know these things. One, it takes you completely out of delusion, right? I've had clients and they're like, oh, my communication is awesome. And I go, well, then why is your commitment rate 20%, okay? Now, if you know that, but you're charging a super high case fee, then that's okay. Like, all right, it's 20%, but I'm charging $8,000 for a care plan. And then you know that, all right? Or blame it late, but it takes you out of delusion. Because I've seen people who told me they're great communicators, and that stat said, no, they're not, right? It's just like if you're playing tennis and your first serve is, you know, 20%, well, your first serve isn't very good, all right? So <laughs> you can think it's great, but it's not. The stats don't lie. Okay, and so you want to know those things. You also want to know, you know, what your case average is. That's the lifetime value of a patient. So now you know what you can spend on marketing. You know, if you're spending a thousand dollars and each new patient's worth a thousand, and you get ten new patients back, you spent a thousand, and the average is you're going to get ten thousand back. Okay, so it's the lifetime value. Really important to know, but you won't know unless you track. All right, so it's really important to track. And the more different. Uh, value uh, services you start providing, the more revenue generators you start creating, the more it's important to track each individually. So if you're doing decompression and adjusting, you put them both together, your, uh, your adjusting might be killing it, but your decompression is not, and you don't know that because you haven't tracked it. So if you're doing like decompression and then you're doing like PMF or laser, you're doing adjusting, you wanna track those all separately like different businesses. So you know exactly what's doing well and what's not. Okay, so really, really, really important to track all of that. Uh, and if you're doing like diet or something, diet plans or nutri a lot of nutrition or weight loss programs, you want to track all those separately so you now know what's doing well, what's not. And then as you delegate, this is how you uh, do quality control. Quality control. It's how you make sure everyone's doing a great job. Okay, because you start to see, all right, well, our you know commitment rate is going like this. Well, our consult and ROF it obviously isn't where it should be. Or, or maybe we're spending money on a form of marketing that's bringing in a lot of low-quality new patients that aren't interested. Okay, so as you delegate, it becomes more important that you track. And I probably over-track. I get a little neurotic, so I, some of my stuff's a little redundant, but I know it all. Okay, and that way we can monitor it all and we know, okay... You know, we ordered too many supplements, we threw some out, we're losing there, we're not going to do that anymore, blah, 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 blah. And you know all of this stuff, so you need to keep your stats. And it's so easy now with technology, you can create an Excel sheet, we get, we create one and give it to all our clients. Boom, you download it, you just plug in the numbers, they populate the averages, uh, you know, and delegate uh, delegate it to a CA or an office manager that's a good fact finder follow through, and you're going to see it will be getting done. So it's so important you know those averages. Because you might, you know, you have a big week and you think you're killing it the next week's here and your average stays the same. Well, you haven't really made any growth. So when you see that six-week average grow, now you've taken the next step in, uh, in growth and in performance. And so it's really, really important to watch those averages. And it also helps you, you know, when I have um, clients that are thinking about bringing on their first associate, I say, well, let's look at the last 12 months. What's the worst month you've had in the last 12 months? And then we make decisions based on that. And that could be a whole nother video. But it's so important to track your averages so you know where you're at. Because you don't know how to get better unless you know where you're at. All right. So it's really, really important to watch those averages and, and make sure you know exactly where you're at. So let's do this. And this is how you're going to really run a super successful practice is knowing these numbers and knowing and tracking them and, and, and measuring all of that. If you measure something, the performance gets better. If you measure it and report it, the performance gets even better. So make sure you're tracking your averages, all right? That's how we're going to make a ton of successful practices. And together, we can take over this profession. We can change it whether they like it or not. Have a great week. Keep charging.